The early Saturday morning accident resulted in an unusual line of vehicles on both sides of the Boisdewan section of the Julian R. Hunt Highway. A car had veered off the road and ended up trapped in the perimeter fence of one of the business establishments. The extent of the damage was clear, evident from the roof to the sides suggesting something tragic had happened. It was later confirmed that 21-year-old Keegan Louis of Degazon, Granovia Grosile, the driver and lone occupant, had suffered fatal injuries in the crash. His mother says Keegan was a peace-loving, progressive young man. Keegan Louis, my son, was a very exceptional young man, very peaceful and humble individual. This young man was uh, an individual who brought, brought peace in the lives of people. And I know right now, after his death, what we are hearing from people, I know that if Keegan was around, he would have been this individual, this force to be reckoned with, knowing in his humbleness and in his simplicity that he would try to put things right with whoever he encounters. She says her family is accepting of the tremendous loss, but will never forget this tragic day. So as a family, we are accepting that he will not be back. We're not blaming anyone. We're not judging. We're not asking why. We are at peace. We're going to go through the challenges. It will never, we will never forget this incident. We will never forget him. We know that time will never heal. But with the friends, families, close ones, we will go through this tragedy and be and do what Keegan would want us to do, which is to accept that he has gone and things will be better. The family of Keegan Louis is urging people against making uninformed, insensitive statements about what could have caused the accident. Those who knew Keegan Louis best speak of a responsible, caring individual whom his mom fears may have fallen asleep at the wheel. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.